Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Today is August 25th, 2020. My name is Wayman Pan, joined by my great friend and mentor, Mr. Brett Kuhn. Round of applause, Brett Kuhn. Everybody. Oh, please, please, please. No more. more. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe starting with the summer tune-up, Brett, that was our first online uh, full week session together. Do you have any thoughts on how it went overall? Absolutely. Yeah, I thought it went great. The attendance was really consistent. Um, and it's, it's funny, after the camp, you know, I was able to communicate with some of the different participants, um, both teacher and student. And it was, I, I saw one of the students, Andrew, the other day at NIU, and I said, hey man, did you enjoy the class? Because, you know, I teach out there. He's like, man, that was awesome. And, and he said, my, my stepdad watched it with me. And <laughs> so it became like this family check it out thing, which is cool. But it was funny because he was so worried that I think, you know, that I didn't think he was there all the time. I was just asking about the class and he was like, yeah, I had to work the, you know, after the first day I had to work every day, but it was awesome. Everything you guys did was online and I would just come home from work and we'd sit down and watch. Yeah. So I think that's one of the, one of the great benefits of what the way we're doing this mm -hmm. is keeping everything online. So if you can't make that time, um, you can watch it anytime at your convenience during that whole entire week and usually for like, you know, week after. So I think that's a huge positive component that you've uh, incorporated into doing the classes. We're going to try to keep rolling out more and more content um, with that subject matter in mind for those people who participated the first time and hopefully for those who come in the second time. The goal being that we are a portal that is everything a director would need, um, essentially assistant director for percussion. Um, so that you can go to that, whether we're in a COVID world or not, which we all want to get out of as soon as possible, obviously. Right. Um, but eventually when we are back in a normal classroom and I'm able to travel and be with all these amazing people in different parts of the world, um, that's not going to stop us from using online knowledge that we're going to gain over this next year and a half or have gained already mm -hmm. and how to use technology in our classrooms. So I, I'm most excited about that, I think. You know, it's just getting that portal set up with you guys and, and all the amazing support that, that Way and the team have given me. I, you know, it's, it's been huge. But, yeah, man, i really extremely proud of the class. Everybody was really engaged when they were there. Everybody was working. Um, it was really cool. And, you know, I didn't know what to expect for the first time, but it was all positive. Yeah. One of the, the learning, I mean, there were so many learning takeaways. Uh, if you attended the class, you heard me say that even after 20 years of being around Brett, every time we get together and do a project together, I'm still learning, uh, not only as a percussion teacher, but just in all the online work that we're doing. Um, but as a camp facilitator participant, I'm teaching online classes this semester as well. And it's an example uh, or an opportunity for you to remember what it feels like for your students to be in a class watching the teacher teach and you know, like, oh, that, that's, yep. I, I'm going to try to incorporate some of that into my own online teaching class. So that was, man, I had such a blast putting all that together. And so the feedback has been uh, resoundingly uh, excited from the participants. Well, and I think, you know, you know, you talk about when we, when we talk with each other, I mean, even this morning before we started this, this live, you know, webcast, you were talking about, we were talking about buzz rolls or concert snare and tuning for this technique or that technique. Mm -hmm. And, and you, then you mentioned something about how you'll put a mark when you, you know, for a particular piece of music that on the, on the snare tuning gauge, you know, at one point you may adjust it a quarter turn or whatever, depending on the, the section of the mm -hmm. tune. It was like, well, that's, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that you collaborate with other great people on a consistent basis is what keeps us all growing. I mean, you know, Definitely. we want to wake up and get better at what we do every day. And that's, for me, that's the fun. <laughs> how do I, how do I become a, not just a better teacher, better player, you know, better person. So I think it's good all the way around, you yeah. know? That's one of the things that's been most exciting about starting to put some of these uh, classes and courses in the portal that we're all ultimately talking about for Brett here is, uh, you know, I was trying to explain to my daughter afterwards, who's like, you know, Brett and my daughter have a special thing where they get on and they'll, they'll have full 20. Minutes. I, I posted a photo of you guys having your tambourine session the other day. <laughs> so good. Yeah, she was doing it. <laughs> so good. Well, and I know I, I'm revealing the silly side of myself, but of course, I'll come on <laughs> with these glasses, right? 
And then his daughter, she comes on with these really cute little pink glasses. Mm. And the other day it like matched her dress. And she was like, oh, Brett, you see how my glasses match my dress? So I don't know. I don't know if she thought I should have a yellow shirt on or she was just, but it was so cute, you know? But yeah, it's yeah. Fun. So I'm explaining to her how back in the day, I, I grew up in Texas and I would have to fly to Chicago, uh, you know, once a month to hang out and be around Brett for like a couple hours and not even yeah. in kind of a one-to-one -one setting. It's just like kind of taking it in and then fly back to Texas. Now we're essentially just beaming Brett into the comfort of people's homes. And I was trying to explain to her just, you know, this is dad 20 years ago. This is what we're doing now with computers and technology. And she's like, yeah, you know, and this is this is the, the kid who's got, you know, the entire Disney vault on, on demand through a mobile device. So it's not that impressive to her. She's like, yeah, I see Brett all the time. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, what kids grow up with now is it's unbelievable i mean you know i i was the same way i mean you know there was none of this youtube this youtube that check this out online whatever it was you had to get in the car or truck and and drive to a jazz camp yeah. you know or your percussion camp for the summer you know i remember driving to north texas for one i met i remember driving to uh uh, you know, to Cal, Illinois, to go to the Jamie Abersall Jazz Camp. There was no at home, just going to check it out and learn, man. You had to physically go somewhere. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, one of the things that we're hoping to do based off of the the responses that we got from the first camp, uh, again, thank you so much to all the teachers and students who participated and joined us for that, for our, our inaugural online camp with Brett. Such great responses. You know, w one of the things we did was he asked, how do we make this camp better for you the next time we do it? Um, but also from that, those responses, there were a lot of additional questions like, oh, I wish we had a chance to talk about this and things like um, for future sessions. And what became apparent was that maybe there should be a director's session. And I know that's something that Brett has been really passionate about for a long time. Can you just tell us a little about like why directors? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when when Jim Campbell started the, the director's track, that's when what it used to be uh, BOA was became music for all had moved to Bloomington, Illinois. And you know, Jim's concept and I was teaching the camp with him at the time was, you know, if we can get 10 directors and, and every director has 25 students, that's 250 kids we can inadvertently um, influence in a positive way, hopefully mm -hmm. by making the directors better. And I've just always carried that with me, you know, the importance of doing that. So the next session we want to do is, is you know, director specific this time, mm -hmm. especially, you know, we're trying to time it where I know a lot of schools are already in session. Some schools start right after Labor Day. And, and so probably the start date is going to be that week after Labor Day. So everybody's had at least one to three weeks in school in a Zoom climate for the most part. Are you doing hybrid? Do you Zoom with your students during the day and then you still get to go to band rehearsal at school? You know, well, that's that might involve different Zoom content during the day than the groups that don't get to go to school at all. And I keep calling it Zoom, but online teaching uh, probably is a better way to say it. You know, how do you start your online class? What are the expectations for the students on the other end? Can you see their hands? Is the lighting good? Is this, I mean, like there was just a myriad of topics that we want to cover along with, of course, teaching percussion, um, still being the main crux or the foundation of the class. Everything from probably middle school type stuff. Where do we even start making sure these kids are good? How do we start them online? Oh my gosh. Like there's not like, that's a whole nother question. Um, but also giving high school directors that opportunity. You know, if you're a director that teaches the beginners and the high school, how do you make that a through composed um, process? How do you put them on a six or seven year track that's how you have to think of it if you do it right it's by the time they're a senior it's amazing so i think there's a lot of different aspects and a lot of the content is going to be driven by the directors um, we don't want to just say hey here's exactly what we're going to do every week and we're going to do them once a week so that maybe we do an hour hour and a half uh, i'll see what way thinks on this seven to eight or eight thirty on a tuesday night if you can't make it you just check out the recording but that gives you a week to implement or try out what we've started, mm -hmm. troubleshoot, maybe come up with more questions, 
next week we go on to the next series of like, okay, here, it seems like most of the class needed this, so let's talk about this next week. And that way it runs once a week for a month. It's not overwhelming um, with your time commitment. And it gives us a chance to see, or you guys a chance, I should say, to see how your class is developing in this process and how best we can help you. Because if we do four classes in a row in one week, right. that doesn't give us any time to discover this works well, that doesn't work well. Um, you know, what, what, how are these things improving the experience of the kids and also for us? You know, like you and I talked the other day, um, play along tracks. We use play along tracks in a class this summer. I just created some drum set grooves that go with our exercises so it's got a nice feel to it. Are you guys doing that online? Do kids have access to that? How are, what's their pulse center on the other end? Are they just using a metronome? Are they using anything? So a myriad of, I, I think, of things that we can talk about and have content up there. And then it also, I can, between Wei and I, we can keep filling it during the week with maybe some other things that came up we didn't get to. You check it out by the next week. So really you're getting a lot, it's gonna be a lot more than an hour and a half worth of information because that content might grow over the week until we get to the next class. Absolutely, and one of the things that we were able to start experimenting with, you know, the whole asynchronous learning component with that comes with online teaching is, is really interesting because uh, as, as Brett's saying, is you're gonna encounter different challenges in between each session. Uh, one of the things that we did at the last camp was there was a place for people to drop questions. And so we would get those questions and we would know what are some of the things that we can answer or prepare for the following class based off of these questions that we're getting that aren't happening in this strict, you know, eight to nine or two to four uh, window. So as we're seeing instructors between the Tuesday to Tuesday block, there's going to be a community. There's a place for them to talk to each other. There's a place for them to drop requests on Can we, can we make this uh, one of the questions that we address? And as we look at them, what ends up happening is you'll see a lot of the same types of questions come through and we say, hey, that's a video that we should shoot that's worth compiling and having as a evergreen reference that will then go inside of Brett's portal. And then as you're going through it, whether you're catching the replays or you're trying to find out the specific answer to that question, it'll just be there on demand uh, when you need the support. Absolutely. And that's the, the whole idea is to grow this space for you guys, um, for the directors, and especially, like I said, the ones that are, are out there teaching on their own. You know, I mean, there's that's the 90% of you. Um, you know, so many great men and women are out there being asked to do everything. Um, you know, it's the 10% that have the three directors and the, <laughs> you know, everybody's got their specialty. Um, so we just want to make sure that no matter what level uh, your program is at, you have access to this content to make it better for your kids. Yeah. We're going to be releasing this. Uh, actually, I haven't shown Brett yet, but I'm going to show you this right now. We're going to show you like the first live version of the portal. It's ready to go. Here we go. We're going to take the tempo up a little bit. Here we go. First two bars. I'll be sending out an email later today to all the camp participants from our first summer tune-up. So they're going to be our, our our first eyes and ears on the content that they're going to get to check <laughs> it out. And then we'll be releasing some information. I think we actually have the dates and the times set for this next director's session coming up. Second Tuesday of September. Yeah, right? September 8th, 2020. So every Tuesday, and it'll run 7 p.m. to 8.30 Central. Is that right? Yep, 7 to 8.30 Central. Yeah, and we'll yep. put that in the description down below if you're interested in checking it out. And then um, if you have questions, you know, please just let us know. We'd love to answer as many questions as we can for you uh, between now and that start time. And um, it'll have all the things that we did from the first camp. It'll be like version 2.0. Of course, it's directed to directors as well. But um, you're going to see a lot of kind of expanded features, things that we can make this the absolute best experience we can make for all the teachers out there. Absolutely. Let's wrap for today. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll Thank you, guys. We'll talk to you soon. And uh, if you have any questions yes. about the camp, just let us know down in the comments below. Thank you, guys. Peace.